For me, it was really easy. I don't really get why he can't just, like, stop. <sighs> Sometimes I just want to grab him and shake him and tell him to stop. Cut back, please, do something. I just want to get on with life and not have to nag as much, you know? If it doesn't work, if she doesn't quit, then that's her health, that's us, that's, you know, our life. She needs to give up for us, um, really, because he's all she's got. You can feel like it should be easy just to give it up, but in fact it is quite hard. It's just frustrating that you, they can't see it, you know, that it's doing them harm. We should be this tight-knit unit, but we're not because we're always arguing about his smoking habits. It's this war, I think, of, of will. That, that can be hard to, yeah, be close to. Smoking is a complex thing to stop. I'd like to introduce you to someone who can give you some really crucial information around stopping smoking. I know you care about me and my son. Smoking is the hardest thing for me to give up. The hardest, the mood swings I go through, the anxiety. Watching you quit so easily while I find it so hard is just really disheartening. I just need you to be there, help me, without the uh, disappointment or disgust. The thought of giving up smoking, I, I get quite panicked and anxious about it. I retreat and that it makes me want to smoke more. I know, and you know, I've tried a number of times, it's impossible for you to understand how hard this is because you've never smoked. As a dad, this is the hardest thing I'm going to do, and that is to ask my daughter for help. I never want you and your two sisters to look at me for the last four months of my life as we did for my mum, your nan. All I ask is, don't, don't look down at me. If I've had a good day and I haven't had one, just tell me you're proud of me. Hi, I read a little for you. We cannot lose you right now. It would break us to see you go this young from something so stupid that we could have prevented. We love you too much, and I'm gonna to try to be here as much as I can for you. I wanna do this, I want you there. I, I wanna say a dad joke at your 40th birthday. Will you be there with me? Let's do this, eh? I feel this has been you know, an eye-opener for both of us. I mean, it's really unlocked some mm. things that probably would have gone unsaid. You know, yeah, this is, this is huge, and it's different for everyone. After today, I know that he needs me, and I know that I need to always be there for him, which I'm going to be able to do now, because, you know, he was honest with his feelings. I'm proud of him. I actually have never thought about going to a GP, not for smoking, until today.